Hi guys, it's me, Teacher Gon. In today's video, we will talk about multiplying fractions with cancellation. So, what is the purpose of using cancellation? There are things kasi in multiplying fractions that if the numbers are big, it will be difficult for us to simplify the final answer or the product. So, let me show you how to use the cancellation method on how to multiply fractions. Let's start with 2 over 7 times 7 over 9. So how do we cancel? As you can see, there are two common numbers here, which is 7 from the denominator of the first fraction and from the numerator of the second fraction. Since this is the case, we can cancel out this number and this number, it will become just 1 and 1. And what will happen is you will proceed with multiplication. We have 2 times 1, which is equal to 2, over 1 times 9, that is equal to 9. And this is the answer for this problem. Now let's proceed with example number 2. We have 3 over 4 times 2 over 3. As you can see, in the first fraction, in the numerator, we have 3. We also have a 3 here. In this case, cancel this out, it will become 1. Cancel this out, it will become 1. And you can multiply the numbers. 1 times 2, that is equal to 2, over 4 times 1, that is equal to 4. And by the way, I forgot about it. We can also cancel this out. Cancel this out, it will become 2 and 1 because we can divide this by 2, divide this by 2, and as you can see, it will become 1 over 2. And this is our answer. Same with this one. As you can see, we have here 1 times 1, which is 1. We have here 2 times 1, which is equal to 2. We will arrive with the same answer. Now let's continue with item number 3. 4 over 9 times 5 over 6. So which number can be cancelled here? So 5 and 9 is not possible. 5 and 6, 4 and 6 is possible. Their greatest common factor is 2. So you will think, how many 2's do we have in 4? To cancel this out, we have 2 two twos here. Here in the mind, we have 3 2's. So we can cancel this 6, it will become 3. And in this case, we can multiply. So multiply these numbers. 2 times 5, that would be 10 over. 9 times 3, which is equal to 27. And inspecting or checking whether it is or it can be simplified, 10 over 27 is already in simplified form. Now let's proceed with item number 4. For number 4, guys, I think we can pause the video for a while and you can try this to multiply these fractions using cancellation method. Pause the video first. Okay, let's continue. Now, for 3 and 7, it's not possible. For 3 and 8, it's not possible also. For 4 and 7, it's not possible to cancel it out. The only numbers that we can cancel out is are 4 and 8. Here, the, the greatest common factor is 4. Cancel 4 to become 1. Cancel 8, it will become 2 because there are two fours in 8. And let's proceed with multiplication. 3 times 1, it will become 3 over 2 times 7, it will become 14. So, as you can see, 3 over 14 is already in simplified form. Now, let's continue with our next examples. So, what we have here are two more examples. We have 4 over 27 times 9 over 16. So let's try to cancel some numbers. We have here 4 and 16. It can be cancelled out. It will become 1. And as for 16, it will become 4. For 9 and 27, this will become 3. This will become... No. This will become 1. Sorry for that. Because their greatest common factor is 9. There's only nine, 1 9 here. And for this 1, it will become 3. So let's multiply the numbers. 1 times 1 is equal to 1 over 3 times 4, that would be 12. 
And as you can see, this is the simplified answer. Now, it's your turn to answer this problem. What do you think is the product between 27 over 8 times 16 over 15 by cancellation? So guys, that's it. If you're new to my channel, don't forget to like and subscribe but hit the bell button for you to be updated sa ating latest uploads. Again, it's me, Teacher Gon. Maraming maraming salamat and bye-bye!